and uh, let's go continue a little bit. We are going to introduce the concept of electrophoresis, mobility, and the zeta potential. Electrophoresis, you probably heard of the word, uh, is essentially when for a suspension system you apply electrical field and uh, driven by the electrical field, the particles, if they have to be driven by electrical field, they are what? Charged. Otherwise, if they are completely neutral, the, the electrical field doesn't matter to them. Charged particles will move under the electrical field. Okay. And uh, we are going to look at the mobility for this phenomenon called electrophoresis. Again, simple. We have two electrodes, like two parallel flat electrodes inserted into a suspension. You apply a constant voltage, DC voltage, and if they are parallel, you have a, essentially a constant electrical field, right? In between them, and they have certain distance, and within them, within them, if this guy is positively charged, it will move from positive towards negative, right? Something like this. So DC voltage is applied to parallel electrodes at fixed uh, separation L, and the particle velocity V can be observed or mirrored. For example, if you have a magnet, then put them under a microscope or something, stereoscope, you can mirror how fast the particles move. Make sense? You know distance, you know the distance, you know you can time it, you can measure how fast it moves. And for a particle with certain radius and the charge, net charge, Q, and on the electrical field, the driving force, physics, it's Q charge times electrical field. That gives you F4 force, right? The net force on this charged particle, okay? And then in a viscous medium, well, in a suspension, then always have some viscosity, and the particles cannot, especially we are talking about the actual ceramic particle, it cannot accelerate indefinitely. At a certain point, the terminal velocity will be reached and determined by so called Stokes' law. And we gave it like this. And if under this condition, the so called drag force, Particle moving in a solution, that would be kind of friction or resistance. This resistance force would be given by this pi mu r v. Again, r of course would be what? Radius and this uh, eta, yeah, not mu, eta would be viscosity of the liquid. A certain liquid at a certain temperature, you got a number. Okay, and uh, V is the so-called terminal velocity. Okay, and as you can imagine, the higher the viscosity, the higher your resistance, resistive forces, right, or drag. At the same time, the faster you go, the drag more, the more drag. Makes sense, right? Now you look at it. The larger your particle radius, the more the drag. Make sense? So kind of like we have this, one is your driving force that drives you to move. The other one is so-called drag, your resistance that slows, tries to slow you down. And at a certain moment, we said, okay, we have this driving force, we have this resistance. At a certain moment, so-called reach, so-called equilibrium velocity, so-called terminal velocity. The driving force should be the same as your resistance, your drag or friction force. And as a result, if we have to define mobility, U, which is mobility is velocity divided by your driving, like, driving field, driving field, potential, energy over distance. Okay, this is how we define mobility. It's V over E, V over E, you, we will just rearrange this 6 pi uh, eta R arranged to the denominator Q keep, right? This gives us so-called mobility, which means under certain electrical field, how fast you can go, how fast you can go, okay? Which can be measured, right? Charge, if we somehow can measure charge, 
total charge on the particles. And uh, viscosity, we can measure. Radius, we can measure. Make sense? So the zeta potential, a related concept is called zeta potential. The zeta potential would be for a that charged particles in solution in suspension more accurately it will drag certain solution or molecules together with it a particle within a solution as it moves within the solution it will because of the electrostatic interaction it will drag some solution together with it make sense the particle, you can hardly imagine the particle just move by itself. Every water molecule slide through it. No, it's not like because of the interaction, the particle will drag some charge and drag some water molecule together with it. Make sense? And certain counter ion with it. It will drag solution and counter ions with it. And the so called electrical potential at the slippage plane. Or the plane of shear. The particles, it has an interface, but when it moves in the solution, it drags certain amount of thickness of water together with it, solution with it. And that slippage plane between the boundary, the boundary between the part of water that moves together with it and the remaining water, that's called, we call what? Slippage plane. It's certain distance away from the particle surface or the plane of shear. Make sense? The potential at that location is called zeta potential. The plane along which the particle together with its absorbed solution molecule and ions actually move. That's the potential called zeta potential. It's a more or less complex uh, concept. The particle move, but it cannot move just by itself because it's charged. Even if it's not charged, it still want to drag some water molecule into it, right? Uh, a natural example would be you come out from water, your surface initially would have some water, you drag it, right? You drag it out, you have to. There's no way you just particle move by itself. And the potential at that slippage plane is called zeta potential. And generally, we have this relationship. We don't go into the detail, but the zeta potential is defined in this way. Okay, U for mobility, eta for viscosity, of course, dielectric constant and a KR factor. Okay, let's worry less about KR factor. And for people find out for concentrated solution with the balance which much smaller than particle size, this value become one. And in that case, our Z potential is very simple. We get this uh, equation. Okay. And then for some other conditions, for very small colloidal, particle size are very, very small, or for, ion, for low ionic strength, not many electrolyte, okay? The, the balance now become relatively large. The balance, which means, okay, the zeta potential decay, you're sticking out into the solution, this distance become what? 10 times larger than your particles. You can imagine, okay, you are, you are like platinum or some nano, two nanometers, three nanometer particle, where the balance is much larger than that. In those cases, we would have also a different uh, F factor, and we would have slightly different uh, uh, zeta potential equation. But anyway, the thing that we are going to understand is, okay, the zeta potential is related to what? Mobility. It's related to viscosity of the uh, suspension. Okay? I think let's stop here.